This yard was built around the 1860s as a stable yard, so that would have been the blacksmith and this would have all been stables. Uh, around 1920 it became a garage, a car garage, and you can see the remains of where a petrol pump would have been here. In the 1940s a guy lived upstairs there and would rent it for motorcycle parking. So there was a group called the Ali Pali Tun Up Boys, all 16, 17, they had some amazing bikes here. And they'd all kind of hang out here on a Saturday morning, tink from the bikes and drink coffee. And one of them still comes down, he's 85 now, still riding. And he says, you know, it feels exactly the same as when he was a kid in this yard, which is nice. We still hang around and talk bikes, drink coffee. And nothing's really changed. It's the same paint on the walls for 50 years, you know. So, yeah, I love that kind of linear history within London where everything's so transitional. <laughs> I started Bolt back in 2013 because there was a kind of a new revival of motorcycle culture in a, in a different way than what's happened in the past and there was no one really representing it at the time so I wanted, I mean motorcycling is much about community and social so it's creating a hub where you know people can meet and it can kind of grow from there and then kind of grew into the clothing and the coffee and the rest of it kind of from there really. I think in terms of a scene, there is, the scene is dead in terms of this modern revival. It's been going for 15 years, but motorbikes always stay constant. And motorbike is probably one of the most iconic references of subculture, of counterculture. And it's the outsider element to it and the interesting people that it kind of brings together. So really I'm more interested in the subcultures around the motorcycles and, and that community aspect of it than the machines themselves. I mean, I like everything from scooters to, I've got Harley Davidsons, but I look at it as, as much about the design as the ride itself. You know, there's lots of elements to each of them. It's difficult to find the perfect space, really. I mean, we chose this because of the yard, because we're a social place, probably first and foremost. And, we like to do events and bring people together and bring all our elements from music to fashion to film and whatever into the yard. We've got the record shop in here as well. We've got as much in common as those kind of outsiders who are real kind of passionate about music and record collecting, more so than some of the motorcyclists who might be modern day commuters or so forth. So that kind of element of preserving the past but, but being relevant to now as well and, and, and just that real ingrained interest in things is kind of where we're, we're about really. I mean I like riding in London, I mean people hate driving in London but there's a kind of aggressive bad attitude on the road and you kind of learn to go with it. So yeah, I like the kind of fast city cutting through traffic and the rest of it. I like to think we've been annoying our neighbours here for over a hundred years now so. <laughs>